All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. All righty, we are back. Welcome back to the Son of a Boy Dad podcast. Today it is Monday, November 6th. Man, November's really just flying by. <laughs> Man, I can't believe we're into the depths of fall right now. You feel that? You taste that? I Se- feel that. That seasonal depression? <laughs> no, I love it. Really? It is dark as hell out already, though. I don't like that at all. Good for the podcast, though. We don't have to worry about the lighting. I know. That's what I was kind of... uh, That was the blessing of daylight savings time. It was originally intended for the farmers and the crops, and now it's used (laughs) by the podcasters in the late (laughs) afternoon. (laughs) Oh, man. As the sun sets behind the beautiful block of the whatever village neighborhood we're in right now. The West, brother. Oh, I don't want to dox you, but if you want to dox it, we can say the full known. street. Let that shit be known. We could say we're right by the key shop. We could just say we're right by that the key famous shop. There's like a million, like what, like a the the locksmith. There's like ten thousand locksmiths within like five minutes of here. Not the one that people are congregating to take pictures around. Really? Do people do that? I saw a gaggle of Asian tourists taking pictures of that quaint uh, locksmith shop. Yeah, I was about to go in with my phone because that shit is fucking. Dude, you know what was really funny? I was going to say something nasty about the Asians, but I decided I'll change the topic. I uh, uh, Well, let's, let's <laughs> determine now, whether it was nasty or no, not. No, I wasn't. I was just going to say they take, like, they're funny tourists because they just take pictures in front of everything. But, yeah. Well, I mean, that's probably how we are in their country, too. Oh, yeah. Like, we're like, they don't fucking speak a word of English. They just cross the street. And yeah, fucking, yeah. They don't care about traffic. That's exactly how we are, probably. Yeah, that's just is like say what true. we want louder. That's true. Where is the train station? <laughs> Dude, I was looking up. Uh, I, 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 so on Saturday, I had to go home early as fuck. And I had like a traveling was a nightmare. You were I, going from Raleigh through Philly up to Boston. Yeah, but I had to sleep in like the airport hotel for like an hour. And then I woke up and I flew to Boston and then Ubered home. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, so that night I was like so fucking tired. Like like zombie, and I went to bed at seven p.m. and I woke up at three a.m. and I never went back to bed because it was like I and it was also daylight saving, so I'd already slept for nine hours. Eight hours. No, nine because it was nine daylight hours, savings. Yeah. Hours. So I was like, I don't really know, like how I can't how how much can one person sleep, right? I was like, well, there's no way I'm gonna make it to like eight a.m. They said LeBron James sleeps for like 15 hours a day. Well, that's because LeBron's got a busy ass schedule. No, what? No, he sleeps for 15 hours. They that's say that. Uh, they say that Joe Burrow goes to bed at seven or eight. I think these guys' bodies just need to recover. That's probably what, yeah. They probably can. Like, I, I, there was no reason for me to be sleeping any longer. I've already caught up on my sleep. Your body, there's no recovering to do. No, exactly. there's no wear and tear. Exactly. So I, uh, I was just like scrolling on my phone, and eventually I started thinking about. Delta miles again, and uh, and I was like, I want to go on a vacation in December, or maybe travel somewhere and go fishing, so that I can get my, so I can get to hopefully di- Diamond. Well, I ho- wait, ta- I hope I know where you're going with this. Go I don't, ahead. I don't want to get too deep into this Delta Sky Miles part of, of it. Of course, of course, that's so fine. So let's we're switching to the vacation part of it. Right, that's what I think. This has to be a record. We're like two minutes in, and we're already talking. about I know. Delta I'm not Sky talking miles. about it. No, no. I think I know where you're going. <laughs> Keep going. So I, I, I was googling like best places to go on vacation in the winter. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm looking at a bunch of places. I started off just looking at like best fly fishing places. Iceland's number one, which then just made me really depressed because we didn't catch anything in Iceland. Because you blew that trip. Yeah. So I was looking at Patagonia and I was like, oh, this could be fucking awesome. That looks like I always wanted to go to Where's Patagonia? Patagonia? South America? Chile. The western coast of South America? Yes. And I was like, that could be awesome. And then I looked it up and I was like, oh shit, I didn't know it was that hard to get to. Yeah. It's like a full day flight. It's like $2,000 for Maine cabin. Think about the miles. So, yeah, but it wouldn't be a lot of miles if I was flying Maine. So I was like, all right, I'm not going to do that. So then I just Googled it. And I Googled like best vacation destinations for the winter. And number one was somewhere in Austria. Looked beautiful. Number two was Greenland. It was all like snowy, like skiing type places. Switzerland. Yeah, shit like that. You'll never guess what number three was. St. Louis, Missouri. (laughs) (laughs) Dude. The description of it. It had to have been someone that is not from America that made the list and probably also uh, like oh, the only place they've ever been in the United States was St. Louis, Missouri. It was like it was like foodies across the world flock to St. Louis to try their diverse what? dishes. And then it was like there was like with many things to do, such as taking a selfie in front of the famous Ark. 
or going to see the local hockey team, the St. Louis Blues. Oh, and I was my like, God. those are the only two things to do in St. Louis, and the arc is so lame. Come to St. Louis and get in a fist fight at a Hooters restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, isn't it like the most dangerous city in the country right now? It's it's I don't know if it's the most dangerous, but it's not like uh, a destination Dude. in any way or shape or form. It, it, it's honestly like it's probably bottom ten destinations to go to in the United States. Bottom ten cities. Yeah. For sure. But anyways, I'm going to be, I want to start off with that because I'm going to be in St. Louis next weekend. So uh, five <laughs> shows, come on out, see me, let's have a good time. It's the perfect thing to do in winter. It's the perfect place go to go. Go heckle a stand-up com- comedian. Exactly. And yeah, if you're visiting from out of the country and you're like, it, it, do you think people in that visit like the United States, do you think they visit it like how we would visit? Like like when I went to Iceland, I was like, oh, we got to go around the whole country. Then people go to the United States and they're like expecting to be able to drive from new york to california and then they land and they're like oh shit that's like a two-day drive i do think that like 90 percent of people specifically women just that don't understand geography in a oh, lot of yeah, ways 100 percent. i Me think too i don't understand it at all yeah i didn't know australia was so goddamn big <laughs> australia massive. is huge you can't drive around it at all no you gotta there's like dude you can take like 10 hour flights within australia Oh yeah, that's it's, crazy. It's it's vast. It's a and the middle of Australia has absolutely nothing going on. No, they don't. Have but I think that when on. people come to America, I think that they want to go to like New York, Miami, or California. Miami, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know where I would go. I guess you wouldn't really be traveling to the United States to go to like Colorado or Wyoming because they got that shit in other countries. Yeah, they got Wyoming at home. Yeah, they got they got mountains, bigger mountains. Probably at all. And every other country has bigger mountains than Wyoming. True. Wyoming's got some big mountains, though. No, I'm I'm joking. Every other country doesn't have that. It's not like every country has that. Well, a lot of them do. But a lot of people are coming from countries that like have nothing that are like Central America or some shit like that. Yeah, but why would you want to go to Central America? No, I'm saying people are coming from Central America to see Amer- to see the United States and, and want to see it in different oh, ways. Oh, 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 I see. I you thought know you what meant I mean? like the Midwest, not actual Central America. <laughs> <laughs> You consider the Midwest? I don't know. I thought you were just like making up some new lingo for it. The dude from Chicago. <laughs> but like Chicago, I would put that above. I mean, dude, St. Louis, like no offense to the St. Louis people. Obviously, I love that city and I can't wait to perform there. But it is like they I think they would even admit like putting that on the top three on, on Earth, on Earth, what? Austria, Greenland, St. Louis, Missouri. Top three winter destinations on earth. They had one good thing going for them, and it was the St. Louis Rams. And that bastard Stan Kroenke ripped the St. Louis Rams from yeah. their city and put them in Los Angeles. And yeah. like, <laughs> that was like the only thing that they had going on. The Blues used to be really good when they had TJ Oshie. Oh, yeah. Back when they had Oshie? Yeah. That kid's a fucking stick, bro. <laughs> Oshie was the goat. Hey, bud. <laughs> he is a fucking legend. But yeah, dude, uh, St. Louis is a disgusting city. I went there and did a video one time, and they were like, you have to go to this one barbecue place. It's like this famous barbecue place. It was the nastiest fucking... It was such a low form of barbecue that it almost, it almost turned me off of the genre of barbecue. Not surprised it at all. It almost made me dislike barbecue as a whole. But I bet that list was paid for by the city of St. Louis. You think? I didn't even, dude, I didn't even finish that. I, don't, I, I couldn't tell you what number four was because I, I got off the list instantly. Anytime I Google a list and it's like the 10 like best like hotels in the Caribbean or some shit like that, yeah. it's always it's always like by Condé Nast or some travel brand and it's all paid for. It's, yeah, all the, it's like a marketing wing of like these, these specific places. That has to have been paid for by St. Louis. Probably. No one is going to St. Louis unless you are dying to get shot. Yeah, it just it, I trusted the list on the first two because I was like, oh, this is like, it's different. Like, it's not like going to give me the typical like go to Vail and then it's like ten thousand dollars for a hotel room for go one to night. Breckenridge. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't have bread to be thrown around like that at all. Yeah, you time. just basically want to go touch the wall in a different city. Yeah, pretty much. I want to go fishing is what I want to do, but I like how you said it was the St. Louis Ark. What is it called? Arch. The arch. The Ark is like uh, what Noah's. No, oh, on. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the boat where we went well, two by two. You fucking idiot. Got a lot going on, bro. Just tried to fucking figure this shit out for another hour and a half. No, that shit was... It is cool how every single time we go to do it, just something messes up, and then you just got to sit and watch fucking dudes with the heaviest accents on earth break down how to use Streamlabs. 
How do they know? I don't know. How do the guys who do YouTube tutorial videos on Streamlabs know how to do that shit? I don't know, but I think that's how they like make. I think their entire like livelihood is like troubleshooting shit. How? how like yeah, but it's super impressive yeah. that. But there's a to do video about everything. Yeah, except for this, for the fucking cam link. Well, maybe you need to make one, bro. Yeah, maybe I will. I was literally thinking about that when I was doing it. I was like, if I can figure this out, because, dude, there's hundreds of people being like, how do you fix this? And there's no answer. The son of a boy that YouTube can't get over 100,000 <laughs> until SAS starts Oh, making. dude, if I made this video, it would go fucking massively viral. I will make it. I will make the video if I can figure this out today. No, you won't. I swear to God, I will. And really? I'll talk in a heavy accent. <laughs> Let me hear what the accent's going to sound like. Uh, today we're going to be doing. Uh, I can't even. I don't. Know, I can't even really do the accent. No, that was well. a good start. <laughs> hello YouTube. Uh, hello YouTube. Today we are going to be doing the Camlink 4K Elgato, connecting it to Streamlabs desktop, black screen troubleshooting, and then just like the heaviest EDM you've ever heard comes in, dude. Because I couldn't tell if that was European or I Indian couldn't tell what it was or either. Chinese or I can't only do Indian if I just heard an Indian dude talk. But that was like the perfectly non-racist accent. Yeah, that was pretty neutral. That was just like a little bit of taste of everything. That was pretty neutral. Yeah, that was beautiful. What does in- you do an Indian dude? I don't think you're allowed to Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I, I can do it. I think it's kind of fucked up. Today we're going to be talking about <laughs> Camlink. <laughs> The Camlink 4K produced by Elgato. <laughs> Lots of people have been having questions about. No, we have to. St- <laughs> <laughs> we have to stop. We have to stop. <laughs> They're gonna get us, bro. No, I got not. spooked the first time I did an improv show. I got in trouble. I did an Indian accent. That was my mistake. First, is doing an improv show. Dude, you the accent thing is dumb because like everyone does accents. People do accents of white dudes all the time. That's like how Dave Chappelle got famous. Yeah, but we're the oppressor. True. Well, in India, I guess well, <laughs> it depends on where you are in the caste system. Yeah. You might, some of the Indians, for the record, this is the accent of an oppressive Indian person. Yeah. So what do you want to do today? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Many man. people have been talking about <laughs> how they've been having trouble going live on Streamlabs. What you need to do is you need to quantize. <laughs> if you quantize properly... I think I don't know what the problem is, but yeah, for those for for my audio heads out there, pretty much or not my audio heads, my video heads, I guess. My cam link, it's uh, it's connected to the laptop, and it's just not showing up as it's not coming up like it's coming up as a blank screen, even though it's projecting onto the laptop. I don't know why, bro. I but it up uh, on, the, on the fucking cam link website, and one of the things was like, make sure the camera lid is off. <laughs> That's probably like ninety <laughs> yeah. percent of it. That that's, pissed me off. There's got to be. I, a, che- I will say I did check when they said that. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure camera is on. Yeah. I also just watched you blow into the. Well, that's the last plug. resort. The really last resort is you just start smacking the side of the camera. Or I mean, turn it off, turn it on. I tried that a hundred times. That's first resort. Reset the laptop. Everything. That is the very first resort. But yeah, if I figure this out, I will make a tutorial video, and I'll make it on a new channel. I'll call it like SAS's Tech advice bro i had the most fire indian i've had two indian food experiences this week and really i haven't had so, indian food in so long you got to get some what did you have i went to this place called sema it's like a, a nice high-end indian restaurant mm-hmm. bro there they have some fucking cuisine over there sema dude. where is this i think it's around here oh shit i don't think it's that far from here yeah if you want to triangulate where sass lives not far from sema but spicy ass food so oh yeah delicious spicy ass food and their their use of spices some gravert streamer of the wine with the rogan Josh. some darvert streamer <laughs> <laughs> got some chicken TK masala. I got a lamb vindaloo, <laughs> chicken korma, beef rogan josh. I fucking love chicken tikka masala. <laughs> Gulab jamun <laughs> and some samosas. A mango lassi and then... Do you guys have any sake? <laughs> Sake? <laughs> just going to a fucking Asian restaurant. Yeah, and then we'll just do sake. a couple of those shots of the sake. Do you have some omakase and some sake? <laughs> That's literally me. I can't. I can't. I can't pronounce words unless I've heard them out loud. It's such <laughs> bullshit when <laughs> restaurants will put the, put like a list of the what makes up a dish, and you don't know what any of them are. Oh, 100%. It's like how am I supposed to know what this is? Well, and the I'm good Googling ones. In the yeah. fucking... 
The good ones, they'll put the description with what it is. But that's like a bad restaurant. That is they're a like, bad These restaurant? people are so fucking yeah. stupid that like the, the fine dining is like eight ingredients you've never heard before. Yeah. And if you ask them, the waiter is going to make fun of you to like the chef. He's going like, oh, yeah, to like, 100%. oh, you don't have to cook this shit. Yeah. You spit in this. They'll be like, just put no seasoning on it. That's how they want They're it. They're a fucking idiot. Just char-, char the fuck out of it. Just burn it to shit. They're fucking idiots. <laughs> I haven't been to like an authentic restaurant in ages. <laughs> the fuck is an authentic like restaurant? A, like a or, or like a a foreign? I don't know. All I eat is just fucking shit out of bins. All my food comes in a massive box. I did find a box of yours <laughs> yeah. over food downstairs, and I lug it up to my apartment. Only thing I've been eating is pizza, and that's why I've been crushing pie wine. Oh fuck yeah! Pull out that pie wine, bro. We're doing this ad right now. I th- we, yeah. They, All right, we'll, we'll just cut it in. Let's cut it in. Well, it's, no, they said that our weekend, uh, our weekend update. They wanted is, is actually sponsored by Pie Wine. So since we just talked about what we did on the weekend. Oh okay. Um. So right now. Yeah. Let's just talk about this freaking pie wine that we got right here right now. Honestly, I could talk about it off the top of my head. There's two glasses of wine in every single one of those things. Absolutely fantastic pie wine. They have a couple types of white. This one's my actual favorite the crisp dry white goes so well with pizza five percent alcohol it is a wine five percent alcohol brother let's double check that because this one says 10.5 percent alcohol that's what i said 10.5 percent alcohol you said five percent alcohol 10.5 percent alcohol all right, all right. <laughs> if you rewind <laughs> if, if you rewind the clip i'm pretty sure i said 10.5 percent alcohol and this shit is strong just no, so it, like but it. It, but it tastes dang good is the problem. Yeah. It tastes so dang good. And, I mean, pizza is part of all of our lives. We have Papa Portnoy being the fucking number one pizza slinger. Oh, and yeah. And this is the OG pizza wine for the OG pizza eaters out here. You're going to enjoy it no matter where you are or who Perfect you are. Perfect for stoolies. Oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Buy a case of these. Buy ca- Honestly, this one's my favorite, but the red robust flavor smooth it's like is this coming from a can or is this came coming from the the mountains of tuscany is what i wondered to myself at the time pie wine pizza's new side piece visit piewine.com they also they got some great art on these cans i'm a very big fan of the cans yeah they're fun to look at so if you're a big can head like me head on over to pie wine pizza's new side piece this is a white i'll probably dive into this tonight yeah you will with a little pie to go with your wine with a little pie yeah you gotta go start going to authentic restaurants though it's been that long <laughs> dude it's been so long since i had some authentic food i haven't had an authentic food in like a, like a real <laughs> like a classic dish like a good dish my my dishes are just like tomato rice spinach chicken that's what it just says on the box and then i'm like oh that sounds like a good dinner <laughs> deconstructed <laughs> ingredients Honestly, I give you credit because that's you trying to eat healthy. Yeah, well, it is healthy. It is. That's what I mean. It's like you're, you're, make, you're like you're going out of your way to eat healthy. Yeah. You have a sauce, some of these Indian sauces, you don't know what's in it. it oh, turns well, that's out that the it's problem. Like cream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I told you about that a while ago, how for like when I lived in Hell's Kitchen, I was eating chicken tikka masala like three nights a week because I was like, oh, well, this is just chicken. And then I realized, I looked it up and it was like, I looked up, is chicken tikka masala good for you? And it says, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's all cream and fat like it is terrible for more, you yeah there's just nothing it's yeah. just absolutely not yeah they use so much heavy cream in their in their sauces which makes their sauces great it is the key to a great sauce i'd love to go out to some uh some restaurants with you especially if we're going to keep on recording from here from you know on yeah i know we could hit the hit the village after hit the village just after so hit the village much to before. see in the village there honestly is. I know. You're actually missing out on all the cool shit that's going on all around you. I go everywhere, dude. I see everything. You just said you haven't had an authentic meal, which doesn't mean anything. <laughs> well, I don't eat I don't eat out, is what I mean. <laughs> that's a shame, brother. Unless I get out of the stand. Sorry, I get ladies. The steak. I get the steak, crush the steak. That's the thing, is like once you get a good meal once you get you all you need is one good meal a week. Keep you going. And then you mm-hmm. just eat shit the rest of the week. Not even shit, but you eat like healthy. Yeah. Or yeah, you're not an indulgent yeah. go out meal. Yeah. So when you were going through this stuff about uh, traveling and a trip in December, and I was like, I think I know where you're going. I think I know where you're going. I thought that you were going to be like, we should go somewhere and record there. Oh, yeah, we could do that. We should. You know? I don't know where. I don't know where we would go, though. But just somewhere to rack up miles. Yeah, I know. It would be good. It's just a tough... uh, 
the winter time is tough to fucking get out in. You know what I mean? What do you mean? It's tough to go see the world in the winter. Yeah, but we go somewhere where we're we go get to a cabin somewhere to get our miles. Where will we go? Where is it far? Where is far away from here? Oregon. But I was just in Oregon. I would love to go to Oregon. Oregon's nice. Oregon rules. Yeah. I've been dying to get out to the PN Dub. But is that even far enough? Maybe we should just say fucking and just go to Australia. For Delta? Yeah. Do they uh, not have flights? For our Australian tour? Do they not have flights it's to like Delta? A four, it's like a four flight layover, yeah. I think. It's some bullshit. But Oregon twice? Oregon back? Oregon back? Yeah, that would be big. I feel like that would really put a fucking dent in it. If we went there and back and then went back to... If we went there and back and then back there... So like if we went from New York to Oregon, to New York, to New to York, Oregon. to Oregon, and then we finally went to Oregon on the, like the first time we just go back and forth right away. Yes. We spend the, like Rack, a whole miles, day. Miles, miles, yeah. miles, miles. And then we land. That would like, it would be a big reward. 24 hours. Yeah. Of flying. Cause it's six hours, yeah. six hours, six hours. And then that we, would oh, feel then like we, we deserved this. Yeah. And then we stay and then we get our six hours back. Great salmon fishing out there too. Bro, I've been dying to go to the Pacific Northwest. I, th- I find it so lush. I truly find it lush. It is very lush. We go to Vancouver, too. Never been to Vancouver. It's very close, dude. You very have your passport day? I do have my passport day. Uh. Also got my real ID, which I believe doubles down as a passport day when you go to Canada. Bro, I need my real ID. <laughs> Actually, I need my... T- you need your TSA pre-check, bro. I yeah, saw that I line you're in in Philly. Boned in Philly at Ooh. 4.30 in the morning, dude. In what world? In fourth, like, dude. I, luckily, I woke up early. What if you hadn't? I would have missed the funeral that I was going to, which would have been a fucking disaster. For who? My family. They would have been so mad. I mean, the guys already. <laughs> I came home. I came home hot <laughs> out of the Uber. Did you? Yeah. How? How? Uh, what do you mean hot? You're pissed, or you just were? Just a lot of questions. Oh, oh. And I was like, and by the way, I'm leaving tomorrow. Did they like that? <laughs> no. I bet they did. But then like I that. ended up, I, I cooled down. I, I just was, I mean, I was running on E, dude. Wait, are you talking about the Uber into Philly or the Uber into... Oh, into Massachusetts. Oh, into Massachusetts. Yeah. What kind of questions were they hitting you with? They were just like, where? Like, they were like, everyone thought that I was just like woke up early and flew from North Carolina. No, no, no. They didn't know that I got off of stage, grabbed my bag, Ubered to the airport, flew Frontier, which by the way is insane. The green one, dude, crazy. What was bad about it, dude? It, you, you, you know when you're like, have you ever flown like a shit airline like that? Of course. Yeah, like Spirit or Frontier or Southwest. Of course. So I'd never flown. I'd fr- I've flown Spirit and I've flown Southwest a bunch. Southwest isn't that bad. Spirit's terrible. Frontier, I was like, all right. I mean, it's like, how bad are like these? Aren't that bad? It's well, you like, have to d- detail what was bad. That's the thing is like you're like they're all like the, it is still like a trained pilot and like flight attendant this year like it's not going to be like that crazy. It, dude, it was crazier than I could have even imagined. You have to say what thing the was flight crazy attendants about it. were nuts, dude. Crazy. But probably cuz they're dealing with the dregs of society. Dude, no, they were they were having a blast. They were having the time of their lives, but it was I mean, dude, so if they're having fun, how aren't you having fun? I was, I mean, dude, I was cracking up. I didn't even have my headphones in for the first 30 minutes because I was just laughing the whole, I was front row. The, first of all, there's no one on the plane. Uh, everyone had a row to themselves. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Everyone had their own row. The plane is completely empty. There's this lady in the back who's like, first of all, they're trying to close the doors uh, 15 minutes before it says doors close. And they're like, we got one more guy left. And this lady's like, it's my husband. He's on his way here. He just got through security. And they're like, all right, well, you better hurry up because we'll close that door on his ass. We do not care. <laughs> Swear to God they say that. And then they're all like sitting there like eating like nuts. And they're like, a bitch, I will close the door on his ass. I do not give a fuck. <laughs> like, like, no, this is like word for word. That's what they're saying. Like swearing. Like they don't give a, they don't give a shit. I feel like if someone vouches for you, on most airlines, they'll hold the plane past the time. Past the time. Dude, we were 15 minutes out from the time. And they're like, we will close the door on his ass. They're like, we're trying to get out of here. Like, we all want to go home. And then, and then they're like, they're like, get that lady off the plane. They're like, we're getting her off the plane. We're kicking her off the plane. And they're like, it, her husband's not going to make it. We're going to kick her off. So they go over, they get her, and they're like, she's like, he's at the gate. Like, like he's about to walk down. And they're like, well, you got to go. You got to find him and bring him down here. 
and then they bring him on and they uh and the husband gets on and they all start clapping for him when he gets on the plane and he just is so angry sits down in the first seat and they're like you cannot sit there they're like where is your seat and he's like don't know and they're like well that's not they're like for weight for the and they lied and they said like for weight distribution purposes he can't sit there and i was like dude there's like 10 people on this plane that's probably why they need the weight distribution <laughs> but it was a big plane they need his big ass in the back yeah and then uh he walks away he goes back and they go do they go can you sit with your like do you want to go sit with your wife and he goes no and then they go well you have to sit with your wife cuz you can't sit up here and then he goes back and the flight attendant turns to the other flight attendant they go she goes was he retarded <laughs> <laughs> and i'm just losing it dude i'm laughing out loud crying out laughing out loud hysterically did they show, share like a laugh with no, you no 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 they did not even like they, they they were putting on a performance yeah it was just like a fucking play it literally felt like it was a play where you like can't acknowledge the crowd it was insane it almost seems like it's worth it oh it i thought was. you said it was a bad experience no that sounds it wasn't awesome. a bad experience it, it's just like because I'm get I've never flown Frontier and I was like I'm getting on and I'm like it can't be that much different than like a big airline like JetBlue or Delta or American Airlines and it was so much different so much different that's beautiful though I I uh I just enjoy uh, an experience like that where you can just kick back and not be the stressed one yeah you would have loved it his wife was probably bitching at him as he's running through 100% like, here, they're going to leave they're kicking me off yeah so like, I'm trying as best as I can but it was like the idea that they were gonna kick her off the plane for telling her for telling them that her husband's on the way when the flight is not the doors aren't supposed to close, which means we're not even taking off for another thirty minutes. And they're like, we're gonna close the door on his ass. And he's like, that's crazy. Like you can't do that. You that's think crazy. bad on purpose. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Do you think that there's like a a, a customer meeting or like a, a sales meeting for Frontier where they sit everybody down and they're like, "Hey, we have a reputation to uphold. Yeah, we're supposed to be absolute assholes." Hundred percent, because that's what that Ryanair is doing. They're like leaning into it. Oh, are they really? Yeah, that's like the European spirit. I thought, yeah, it's like an Irish. Yeah, uh, uh, and they're fully leaning into it. Like they're posting videos, being like people complaining. They're like, "What did you expect? It's Ryanair." <laughs> <laughs> which it's like they're going viral like constantly but it's also probably not the smartest business move all right guys let's take a second and talk about the barstool store yes we shall ugly sweaters are off are on right now right how yep. much how much percentage off i mean i don't know it depends on when people get in here it could be 20 percent off but it doesn't matter how much you're getting off it just matters that you buy the ugly sweater now you want to be ahead of the ugly sweater trend and you don't want to wait until it's too late and buy your ugly sweater today because it's about to be ugly sweater season this is your reminder to buy that stuff right now in the barstool store we have some of your best brands your favorite brands plan brie Okay. Plan Brie, uh, one of our favorites. Spitting Chicklets. Spitting Chicklets, another one of our favorites. Nooners. Nooners. Nooners is one of them. One Bite. PMT, One Bite. Foreplay. Foreplay. B- busting with the boys. Busting with the boys. Everything. you got to hurry and buy yours now while supplies last. You order today. Get them in time for your upcoming parties. Oh, I saw a good Sunday conversation one. Oh, very nice. At very, it said, Friend how many pod. hoes? And he was interviewing Santa Claus. <laughs> Classic Caleb. I'd say three. I'd say three. That guy's got a wild brain. Yeah, weird brain central. Weird brains and an ugly sweater. It's the perfect pairing. And uh, you can go to store.barstoolsports.com right now to get an ugly sweater today. Do that. Do that shit. But anyways, yeah, that was pretty much how my weekend went. It was actually a pretty awful weekend overall. Because the the funeral. The funeral was just devastatingly sad. Which I wasn't expecting. The mass was fine, but the actual burial process was like, ooh. Why were you not expecting that? I don't know. I just didn't. And then and then I went home, and it was like everyone came over to our house, and I was like so tired. And like my cousins are there, and they're like, let's get drunk. And I'm like, yeah. But I was like, I'm not going to start drinking until late. So I kind of just like sat and watched college football like in the living room for like five hours. And then like around like 6 p.m., I like had like two beers, and I started like getting like feeling good again well that's the apex of your feeling when you drink two beers in yeah and then instant like within 10 minutes after the second beer i was like i'm gonna like fall asleep and then everyone left and went to my cousin's house and then i stayed and then i went to bed at seven how old are your cousins what's the age difference one of them's like my age and one of them's like 10 years older than me and do uh all of them 
are all of them like around like yeah they all my family lives in the same town it's not like it's going to be the last time you see them because it's like no i'm going to see them in like a week yeah so you're yeah. going to see them all the time and i saw them like last week so you're not missing out on much <laughs> no no but i was bad vibes for sure and but i then, imagine that that drink that like getting drunk at a funeral is like a kind of specific type of it does not hit it doesn't? No, it's more like I wish I was sober right now because this sucks. Cause it was well, it was just... also the running on one hour of sleep. And then it's that thing when you're like, you're so insanely tired. And you're like, guys, I literally slept for one hour last night. And they're like, I sleep for one hour every night. And it's like, no, you don't. And I actually slept for one hour last night. <laughs> I checked into the fucking Philly Hilton, which again, just great. This The dude at the front counter leaves to go drive some like hot girl to a bar and he's like and the girl that's working there she's like are you joking you're actually doing that and he's like i'm not gonna let her walk there <laughs> <laughs> you got caught simping <laughs> yeah dude he left work to go drive a girl because the girl came up to the counter she was in front of me and she was like do you know any good bars to go to around here and he's like yeah I'll, i can take you to one <laughs> He just like, while he's on the clock, dude. He's dating the other girl behind the counter. <laughs> Mario, are you so... seriously going to go? What? It's, da- it's a dangerous that's, that's bar. That's literally what he was saying. He was like, I'm not going to make her walk there. That's crazy. There are no bars by that. Uh, no. By the airport in South Philly. But I wish I stayed at the fucking Marriott one because that one's in the actual airport. Oh, you didn't stay at... Th- I thought that was the one you stayed at. I stayed at the like, Hilton one so that was the cheapest thing. Cause you have to, And then you have to take a little transport you have to, to take get over the there. shuttle, but I took an Uber because the shuttle was a pain in the ass. The guy couldn't drive you? I waited for 30 minutes for the shuttle and then I realized you have to call and then I was like, I'm just calling an Uber. The guy's just like doing push-ups for the hot girl. <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. <laughs> and uh, really nice air... Really nice hotel, surprisingly. Of course. Yeah. It's a great area down there, South Philly, by the stadiums. Oh, yeah. Great. Beautiful area. Flew over the Eagles Stadium. But you said that you were going to bet on the Cowboys, which... Well, that was out of the heat of the moment. I I'd ended, I bet on the Eagles. Still. Even saying stuff like that? I was I was saying some really mean things in my head about the state of, about the state of, <laughs> of Pennsylvania. Yeah, it is fucking... I mean, it, or that just makes no sense that that line is like that every single time. I was talking a lot of shit. It, it, like, why, why would they just not have... It's probably just like they couldn't get someone to work. It was, but I will say it did move very fast. It was not... It said 35. 45 minutes. It wasn't, though. It no. was probably like 20. Yeah. 25 but, but it's daunting because you go down that long <laughs> ass fucking hallway it's like you, over you're going over traffic dude, back towards the parking garage and then you turn again and it's all the way down and you're like no way and i'm like this is the only flight that i could get home on time <laughs> and i and luckily i woke up early like i woke up early enough where i was like i'm not stressing too much but i was kind of freaking out yeah that shit is stressful yeah so brutal saturday friday dude fucking raleigh was awesome yeah, those great were good shows. shows. Great shows great. in Raleigh. Yeah, that was really fun. Great crowd down there. Yeah, super fun. I mean, Raleigh-Durham, that's one of the biggest... Uh, one of the best summer vacation spots in the world. <laughs> I saw the list. <laughs> audio just went down. Mr. President, we just lost audio. We just lost audio in the second mic, Mr. President. <laughs> but dude, were you, uh, were you stressing for that? That Cowboys-Eagles game was a great fucking game. I was standing... Like the entire game yeah. at, at home alone. Yeah, that was really fun to watch. I was going to hit you up to come over, but... Uh, I couldn't, dude. I didn't get back here until like 6, which then that also pissed me off because I was like, Sunday's my one day where I want to lay on the couch all day and just fucking watch ball. Yes. And Sunday, I couldn't. Sunday's your one, it's your Sabbath. Yeah, so then we had a brunch yesterday morning and uh, we get there and it's like we're, we're there and we're already like an hour into the Chiefs-Dolphins game. My uncle's just watching the game on mute. And he's like the fucking king of the house, and there's just nothing I could say. Why did it? What do you? Oh, to put the volume on, you mean? Yeah, just no volume the whole time. Why couldn't you just ask him for the volume? Or you guys were sitting shiva. We were sitting shiva, having gefilte fish. Yeah, we were. We were not moving. Were you having some uh, traditional Jewish food? The no. bagel. No. <laughs> you guys didn't have bagels at brunch. No. I know did we, did have we did a bagel. Some but I barely ate. I didn't really eat much. Yeah, because you just hibernated. Yeah, pretty much. And then I skadoodled on back and I watched the Phillies Eagles game on the plane. Damn. Or Phillies Phillies Cowboys Eagles Cowboys. Yeah, they were playing a baseball football <laughs> hybrid. <laughs> but uh damn dude, I got a lot of thoughts about ball that I want to get off. 
I think this is the perfect time and safe place to talk about it. If you just apologize for saying that you're going to pick the Cowboys, I do apologize. It was out of it was out of rage. Okay. It was the heat of the moment. I will say, first thing I will say, Eagles are the best team in the NFL by mile, and it's not even close. What about the Ravens? No, the Ravens are good, but they're not even close to as good as the Eagles. All right. Um, I hate the Chiefs with a burning passion. The Dolphins are can't beat any team over 500. They suck. Chiefs have a great defense. Chiefs suck. Um, <sighs> the Bengals are very good. The Bengals Bills need good. to fire their offensive coordinator. They might even need a whole coaching change. Yeah, I mean the fact that they don't let Joe or the fact that they don't let Josh Allen run the ball anymore, and then they went to Diggs like one time the entire game and he scored. Did you see him coming off the field at halftime, being like, "I'm not even fucking sweating"? Yeah, I mean, I would say the same thing, dude. I'd be furious. They don't go to him at all, and then they finally doubled up on Kincaid and they start going to Diggs and he scores on the first play. But it's like, figure something out there. They were absolutely stagnant in the second half, they even after the first drive. Yeah, they were terrible. Honestly, the Eagles play them in a couple weeks. and it, That's the, also what I was going to say. Bills have the hardest schedule in the NFL. Well, the Eagles were supposed to have the hardest schedule, but now it looks like the fucking Seahawks aren't as good as they seem like. And Seahawks it seems like, suck. And the Bills aren't as good as they seem yeah. like. Dude, the... the, the Bills, Bills wouldn't make the playoffs if the season was over today. No, they're not. Gonna, I don't think they're going to make the playoffs, dude. Have you seen their schedule? They're playing like the Chiefs, the Eagles, and the Cowboys. They play the Broncos next week, which they'll win. And then like the Chiefs, Eagles, Cowboys... Dolphins again, I think. So are you going to root for the Eagles? Are you going to, like, when you lose the Bills, are you going to be, because the Patriots, Patriots look like the worst team in football. Like, the Patriots, Patriots are going to get Caleb really Williams. bad. Patriots could get Caleb Williams. The, the, what's happening over in, in, for the Patriots is just upsetting because it's like they're not, I, I truly don't think Mac Jones is as bad as people say he is. Yeah. He just has no one to go to on offense. And that's Bill Belichick's fault. Yes. But it's like, everyone's like, Mac Jones sucks. Like, dude, he had like, 10 passes yesterday that should have been caught that weren't caught. They need to fucking throw out all the ingredients yeah. and go shopping again. And he's significantly more like confident. Like in the like when when he's like in the pocket, it's like he's not like fucking running away like he used to. He's like standing tall and like throwing the ball and then people still aren't catching it. And then special teams completely fucked up at the end like multiple times, which is like isn't that like the only thing that the Patriots are supposed to be good at? They're like the special, the New England special teams is the greatest in the world. Yeah, it didn't look like they're and the they greatest in the world. they fucking suck ass. It's fucking brutal. Yeah. They got rid of Jacoby Myers, who's yeah. like doing pretty good with the Raiders. Shouldn't have got rid of him. They have no talent. They have no skill position players. No. I guess Ramondre Stevenson's all right, but. But they don't use him. I, Ramondre's not bad and, and uh, Elliot's not bad either. But they, they need to be able to throw the ball. Yeah, they have they can't no just run catchers. the ball. Or yeah, I guess Gasecki, but they don't they, like they haven't had receivers since freaking Randy Moss, bro. No, since like they had freaking like, Julian Edelman, bro. Yeah, yeah. They need to bring back the white juice. They do. They really do. They they'd be better off for scouting the fucking funeral that you were at for fucking receiving <laughs> talent than <laughs> yeah. They would <laughs> like Baylor or wherever they're getting their receivers from right now. It TCU really sucks. Or wherever they're getting their fucking receivers from now. Yeah, dude. But so so once if they don't make it. If those two teams, your other two favies, don't make it, are you back all in on the Eagles? Yeah, probably. Or are you going to pick a, a new fourth team? I don't know. I, I wouldn't hate seeing the Bengals win, to be fully honest. All right. I don't know. The Bengals are fucking good, dude. Just ride with the birds. Yeah, I know. I like the birds, but the birds kind of are starting to have that, like, uh, they're a little too flashy for me. Flashy? Yeah, they're just too good. They're too mainstream. They're just like too like they're like you watch them play and you're like, yeah, this is definitely the best team in the NFL. But what if they had lost that game? They almost lost it. If they but they came, didn't even come close to losing it. Yeah, they they came close. Did you watch the? End oh of the yeah, game? they actually did come very close at I the very about end. That. Yeah. It was fucking treacherous. Well, that's what I was saying. Wasn't I saying a couple weeks ago that it annoys me that they don't go for points at the end of the game and said they try and run the clock down and then the other team gets the ball back and they're like, oh, now we're almost fucked. Yeah. Why yeah. wouldn't you just score and then be like, this game's over now? There's no way they can come back. That's 100% true. That's why I got to get into coaching. You, I think you could be good at it. I, I know I could. But I don't think, I'm worried that you're not a good enough disciplinarian. <laughs> like if someone didn't, if someone fucked up, I don't know if you could chew them out. I wouldn't chew them out. See, I would be very passive aggressive <laughs> and I would move in the shadows. <laughs> so like if someone misses practice, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to go over and just throw the dude's stuff in the fucking trash. You'd be like, you're <laughs> off the team. But I'd be like, someone else tell him. I'm not telling him. Like that would be, I, I'd just take the tape on the fucking top of the logger and st- you pass him an anonymous note. Yeah, you're cut. Yeah, you're done. Get out of here. Pack your shit. You're going to Chicago. I don't know who this is from, but they want you to have this. <laughs> yeah. You're going to Chicago as an unnecessary sub. 
Because honestly, he'll go to Chicago. He'll wind up in a twenty million dollar office out there. <laughs> Dude, that was. I will say, I watched that right before you got here, and I was sick to my stomach. Did you watch the video? Yeah. Dude, that office is insane. No one told us it was going to be that nice. They were like, yeah, we're going to have a basketball court. And I was like, yeah, it'll probably be like a half court. It's like an NBA basketball court. Yeah, there's like a full stance <laughs> section. The nicest golf simulator. I, I might be like, that might be like a, like a prototype that like Elon Musk created or some shit. It was a beautiful golf I've simulator. I've never seen a golf simulator that has like that many fucking sh- things. That's okay, because our that where we're recording from is pretty nice. <laughs> I wanted to quote tweet it with a picture of the camera on top of the fucking trash bags, <laughs> but I don't want to like be like fucking, you know. I did it. I don't want pity points. No, I tweeted at uh, I I passive aggressively tweeted at Pete. I saw you tweet. I saw you do that. But uh, Hank told me to honestly. I was like, Hank, what do I do to get shit done? He was like, you have to make a public and bitch. <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad idea. Is Dave now? He's about to. But I don't really mind. I like I like this is nice. This year. And yeah. especially if we can go to Oregon. If this 100%. winds up with us in Oregon, like, great. Yeah, we're going to get mobile now. Now we can go anywhere. That, think, that was the issue before. <laughs> <laughs> was that we couldn't get mobile. Like, if we, we just need to find the Airbnb in Oregon that has the best uh, hardwiring. Like an Airbnb with impeccable internet. Yeah, that would be a problem. The internet is an issue. I, I was looking into that too, and it was like, I was trying to figure out like what streamers use for internet because like my internet is, I have now I have the top plan on Spectrum. Yeah. Like the highest option, and it's still not good enough to stream in 1080p. And then I looked it up, and it was like apparently streamers have like a whole different like system of Wi Fi for their streams. You're it's very called like business Wi Fi. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what we need to get. Yeah, that's like what Pete. Pete, we're gonna need Pete to come to the Airbnb that we go to and yeah. have him hardwire it in <laughs> the same way he goes to Dave's apartment and like hardwires his internet. Yeah, yeah. We need business internet. We so, really do. The same way that remote NBA journalists do like their live hits. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if you're watching a ESPN show about the NFL, then there's just somebody in their own study with like bookshelves behind them. They have great internet. <laughs> that shit looks incredible. They do. You think they have a cameraman coming to their house every day? No fucking way. They just no. have great hardwired internet. Yeah, it is pretty cool. We got to figure it out. You'll figure it out though. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I guess I'll figure it out. Oh. Um, <laughs> you will. You're just watching you work on this shit was uh it's impressive. You're just Well, that was patient. my first L you've ever seen me take. I didn't even first clock. time seeing me take an L. I didn't clock it as an L. I, t- I t- clocked it as an L big time. Really? Dude, it took me like an hour, and I still couldn't figure out how to fix it. And there was like no, we weren't even getting close. I was cooling. At the end, I was just going through the camera settings and just changing everything to see if it would fix. Yesterday, I had to like buy YouTube TV because I was me too. T- I was tired of you. You did. I did. I swear to God. Yesterday, when I got I got here, half of the Eagles game was left. And I couldn't watch it for it was not on anything, which is insane. I get that it's like based on like where you are, yep. but the fact that a Philadelphia game is not playing in New York, it makes no sense. At Philadelphia against Dallas, like yeah. the, the like supposed marquee matchup of the season it so doesn't far, make sense. it's like no, we're gonna watch the Raiders. Yeah, shut the out Raiders the Giants. Giants. Instead. Yeah, because people locally are Giants fans. Like how that's you can't just watch it on everything. So I'm I'm like watching Stream East. Yeah, and I've Red Zone, and I'm trying to cobble it together. I was like, fuck this. Yeah, dude. I bought it. I, um, I literally I bought it as soon as I got home. I well, I already had YouTube TV, but I bought the. NFL Sunday NFL, ticket. I got the Sunday ticket because it's half off right now. Yeah, I got it too. And yeah. It was just so fucking... But even just the process of having to link my location of my phone to my TV yeah. was taking so many steps. Yeah. And I was like starting to like f- fucking I was getting and, super annoyed. Yeah, I was going to spaz out. Well, like, it's because like I was like I was doing this and I was like I could put the HDMI into my TV, but then it's like even Stream East is like a couple seconds behind. It's like five plays behind. Yeah, and it's like I don't need. Like I'm just like I'm just gonna spend the hundred fifty bucks and just. It's like there's still so much NFL left. Yeah. And Do you think they bone you with the playoffs though? Well, they probably. Well, no, because you all the playoff games are on, are on individually. But do you you don't think that they're gonna be like okay now buy the the playoff ticket? No, because all, they're all the games are gonna be on prime time in the playoffs. Oh, that's. But true. I bet that there there's like gonna be no more Eagles games that aren't prime time or some stupid shit like that. Yeah. Like I'm gonna wind up paying for like a hundred ten dollars a month to watch nothing. Yeah. But maybe you know, I'll just become a YouTube TV guy. YouTube TV is good. Do you know what the the craziest one was? Is they didn't have uh, Bills versus Patriots on YouTube TV. On YouTube in TV. New York or Fubo. 
It's so stupid. These fucking, like, the cable companies that popped up, this whole, like, Tubi, Fubo, TiVo, like, yeah. all this shit was, is a, a blight on American oh history. Oh, my God. Dude, did you see yesterday? They're saying that the fucking, the Bills game, uh, like, the day after Thanksgiving or the one wherever it is. Yeah. It's, it's exclusively on Peacock. That shit, this is a stain on American history. Uh, like when we look back at the entire, the fact that we've allowed cable to be decentralized yeah. and now you have to buy every single channel a la carte yeah. for a fucking $20 a month streaming is one of the biggest injustices. And I'll put it against just about, the just about, uh, I, I'm, say, I'm saying <laughs> slavery is worse, Holocaust yeah. worse. Women right to vote, but I really outside of that, I, I can't think of anything. No, it's pretty bad. Well, how much? I never see. I never got. I never had cable. Like I never paid for cable myself. How much was it? It's like three hundred twenty dollars a month. Oh, okay, so it's still not worth it. I mean, I don't know. I I pay for all of it now. Oh, you have cable. I have everything. Dude. I have literally you everything. Have cable. I had cable. and YouTube TV. And well, I just get rid got of YouTube. one of them. I dude. have to get rid of one. Yeah, of them. get rid of cable because that's crazy. There's but, no reason to have like the only reason that there is to have cable is for sports. Yeah. But if you got the Sunday ticket, I mean, I guess you watch basketball too. I have the NBA app too, yeah. and I had the NFL app, and I bought. I originally bought the NFL app last year when I was like in Ireland or something yeah. to watch a preseason game, and that's a different app that you get. Yeah, I almost was gonna get a VPN. Yeah, yeah, oh. that's what I thought about doing, but I don't know because uh, yeah, if you get a VPN, you can watch any game because you can be you're technically like nowhere. I was just like, I'm too old to be pirating. To be getting VPNs, yeah. I'm too old to be like trying to like pirate and like go like go to a illegal stream site. Yeah. And like try to click into something, click out of something. Now I have like I'm getting like text messages from random numbers that are like Yeah. Like scammer numbers <laughs> being like, Hello, like yeah. we met at the bar. Yeah, it's pretty it's annoying. Like, dude, I've been in my house for fucking eight days straight. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck do you mean? Yeah, Hello. it does suck. It, it it really is a pain in the ass. But I I think now that I got the Sunday ticket, I'll have no problems for the rest of the season. I hope there's got there's going to be one game on that's like oh, if you upgrade to the this. Red Zone Plus Sunday ticket package, did you get that one? I didn't get the Red Zone one because I already have Red Zone. I have Red Zone on the NFL. App. Yeah, I have Red Zone on my fucking TV. Yeah, and now I have Red Zone in the or no, I didn't get the Red Zone in the YouTube, but no. I because I already have it twice. Yeah, it's so insane. Yeah, it's annoying. And I had the NBA app on my t on my fucking phone, but then they said you need to get another NBA app to be able to watch it on multiple devices on your fucking TV. So I had to. I'm like paying double for that. I'm getting close to the R word. <laughs> Yeah, man, it sucks. Well, I don't know what to do. We're getting fucked, dude. But we like that's what I mean, like this. cable. In it, like originally, cable was just just made so much. It was just all right there. You got to do the math and be like, am I paying more for cable? Am I paying it, with all these streaming things that I'm streaming services that I'm paying for? Is it more than cable? Probably is everything. I'm is. probably still like 150, 200 bucks less a month. Than cable, but YouTube TV is like what, like eighty a month, something like that. I it's don't crazy, know. dude. I remember when I found out that like Dukes had YouTube TV, and I was like, "How much is it? Like five bucks a month?" And he was like, "No, it's like eighty a month." I, I'm hoping that I'll like use it on like on the go or something like that. Yeah, like I'll have I'll be somewhere else where I could just use it. It used to be easier to stream the shit too, though. Like it used to be like so. Oh, they're cracking down. Easier, That's fucking. Thanks to your boy Mark Cuban. Is he doing that? Oh yeah, he's big into cracking down on the illegal streams. What the fuck does it matter to him? Billionaire ass. I know. More money to be made. But I mean... Never satisfied, Mark. Never satisfied. I was honestly satisfied. about to just start watching it on TikTok. I was about to just <laughs> like, You know how people will just like stream the reflection of, in like their bathroom? Yeah, yeah. Like two mirrors and like just discolored version yeah, of it? They invert the colors. It is... I, I, what was the one that uh, I think Mook tweeted it like last year after the Eagles lost the Super Bowl? And it was the dude that was like running Eagles Chiefs on Madden and the Eagles were winning like 95 to 0. <laughs> Well, I don't fucking begrudge him that. You, you you have to do crazy things to cope. Dude, I fucking... Dude, look what happened, bro. I smashed my shit. Yeah, I know. I was going to say, but it looks like it's a screensaver. No, it's a real... That's your actual screen? It's the... Uh, so the cover got smashed, and then I looked underneath. Oh, damn. How'd that, that happen? I was in the Iron Jungle, bro. Uh, you dropped a weight on it? I dropped a 60 on it by accident. That sucks. And now I can't get my .5 camera, so I'm at the fucking fancy Indian place trying to get my phone to eat first. <laughs> Using a panorama. <laughs> 
yeah. that blows. You're gonna have to get like one of those attachment lenses. Yeah, what what am I gonna do, bro? I just blew the budget on YouTube TV. Yeah. I'm in a bad place. Everything's a scam, dude. There was an ad yesterday that I was like, if you bring any iPhone into Verizon today, we'll give you a free iPhone titanium and Apple TV. And it's like, no, you won't. That's There's just no way in hell that's real. I also thought that there was going to be like a crackdown on planned obsolescence where phones just start going bad. So you have to buy a new, new phone. Yeah. But that's still happening. Oh, big time. And like worse than Mine kind of slowed down though. The obsolescence? Like, it, it's, like, because remember I was telling you about how my battery yeah, dropped it like was a only shit going to ton? Or whatever yeah, I don't think it's gone down much since then. And mine's not heating up like it was before. Um, yeah, they're, they're doing nasty things over there. And I don't like it just so they can get their little fucking margins up, dude. Just make a phone that lasts forever and take a loss for a couple quarters, lay some people off. You guys are making too much fucking money designing shit in silicon valley anyway I know. every one of you pussies is too fucking rich dude <laughs> my dad was telling me a story yesterday about uh how he was like a big blackberry guy when i was a kid like he was big into the blackberry and he was very anti-iphone and he said <laughs> that he was driving me to hockey one time when i was a kid and we like I, i've told you about how when you played hockey they don't get you can't get ice time so you gotta wake up at like four in the morning yeah and drive like two hours away to get to to go to a game and my dad was trying to do the GPS on his BlackBerry. And he said that, like, it wasn't working. He said that he, like, it would, took us, like, an hour and a half away. And we pulled up. And it was just, like, some coffee shop. And he went in. And he was like, where's the hockey rink? Like, we're late as fuck. And they're like, we've, there's, like, there's not a hockey rink within, like, 50 miles of here. <laughs> and then he said that he went into the car. And he just took his, he took his BlackBerry and smashed it. And then, he, and then he said that uh, we showed up when there was like 10 minutes left in the game. And like the next day he bought an iPhone. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. It w- it used to be so hard to get places. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about that. That I, I never even like it's never, it's never even occurred to me. Like I was out of college before I had a like a GPS. Yeah. Well, I remember everyone used to have like it would be like that would be like a big like like uh, like Christmas gift for like parents. You'd be like, look, what we got you. It was like a GPS that would like go on the dashboard. Yeah. Yeah. A mounted GPS. Yeah. I was printing out uh, directions on like MapQuest or some That's shit like crazy. that. And I remember driving up. I had like a battle rap interview. Yeah. And I was driving up from Philly, and I had to print out all the directions, and like. I was like, I, I didn't know where the exit was. And I was like calling back home, home <laughs> to my dad to be like, I think I almost like cried. Yeah, I was like, well, I can't find this exit. I'm in Newark, New Jersey. Dude. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> like I was losing my mind because it was so, I, like, if there if there's not like a Siri, a common woman yeah. voice being like, get off to the right. Yeah. It, you you really forget how hard yeah. it is, or being able to read a map like that's like a like okay we're gonna go to fifty five yeah. and then go down to ninety five get on to forty six hit yeah. route one. Dude, you know I mean it's even improved in the last like couple of years. Like now now you'll get the thing that'll be like it'll be like take the next right after not this stoplight but the next one. Or we found a better route. Yeah, shit like that. We found a way to get you there ten minutes faster. Yeah. Or like it's gonna be a little bit slower, but. We have another AI that will come and suck you off. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's some fucking bullshit. Dude, we didn't even talk about the fact that me and you, uh, or we briefly saw each other the other night. Dude, I got caught up in the longest conversation with someone that I'd never met before, that dude. Yeah. Nice guy, but I didn't get to talk to like you at all. Yeah, it was tough. I remember you got there, and then like two hours had gone by, and I was still talking to this dude. I was like, I'm leaving. And then I was like, no. You, that is, uh, I've learned that that's kind of your classic move. You get told, as, I'm like, all right, bye. You're like, you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Well, we went to another bar after that. I know. I could tell that you guys had like the rage in your eyes. Yeah. Everybody was trying to go hard. It was funny because Gardini's still not gone, and I'm going to see him on Wednesday. What the hell? I know. But Why is he not act, gone yet? he's actually gone. Because he, I think he's staying in New York. I don't know. He's like he was going on the road with Shane or something, but I think Shane might be coming. I don't know. I don't really know what it is. I'm seeing his show in Baltimore this weekend. Oh yeah, you told me that. What day? Saturday. Saturday. Uh, Friday. Oh really? Yeah. With Friday. My, with my boy. Uh, with my boy Spud. Spud. Who was there on Friday? Did you even talk to any of my? Yeah, boys? I talked to them. 
Spud, Cheese, Babe. I talked to them br- briefly. Yeah? Yeah. Cheese. Did you talk to Cheese? I think so. You didn't talk to Cheese. I think Cheese said that he he worked at the spot where uh, Justin Bieber peed in the in the mop bucket. Really? And he like had he has like he had an alternate angle of Justin Bieber peeing in the mop That's bucket. That's crazy. And he was like, "Do I want to sell this to TMZ or do I want to keep my job?" And he's like, "I want to keep my job." So he just never. Uh, what a dumbass! Dude, he could sell that now. Does he still have it? I doubt he still has Dude, it. Dude, he could sell that for like that's like worth more than like the Mona Lisa. Justin Bieber's bird. Dude, that was like off. the biggest news story of all time. I know. It was like Justin Bieber pissed in a mop bucket, and everyone was like, oh, "I fucking hate this <laughs> punk." I hate you. <laughs> that was like my like fucking grandparents were mad about that. Punk? Yeah. This goddamn punk bastard. You piece of shit yeah. bastard. <laughs> the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> Trying to f- <laughs> have, have sex with our women? Dude, that was right up there with like Tiger Woods cheating on his wife. Yeah. It was Maybe a, bigger. It was a big time yeah. scandal. Yeah. And he was like 16. <laughs> He was just in like the tunnel, like a tunnel underneath a nightclub or like yeah. bar or restaurant or some shit like that. And he peed in a mop bucket. His boy filmed him from like behind. And I think that they had security, am- like a security angle camera yeah. from right down his bird. Which is a hilarious move to do that. To pee in a mop bucket? Yeah, that's like any, like, I don't know. I would never do it. You've definitely peed in like fucking. You've definitely done it. You've definitely peed you, in mop first buckets. Off, you would probably, you probably like, bird you probably exposed. like shit in mop buckets. <laughs> I've never pooped in And then anywhere. like gone over to the fucking custodian and been like, look what I did. So much shit in your look mop bucket, buddy. Look what I did, you buddy. fucking loser. I, dr- I lost some shit. <laughs> I went to Penn State. Get a real job, guy. <laughs> You're going to work for me someday. <laughs> that's all right. That's okay. You're going to pump our gas someday. <laughs> Have you ever been? Have you ever seen high schools where they like cheer that? Oh yeah, they'll be like losing. That's all right. That's okay. You're gonna pump up. No, I've actually someday. I've never heard that. That's insane. That's so insane. The That's only, insufferable. The only one we had was for BC High, and it was BC High, BC Low. That's where all the gay kids go because it was an all dude school. <laughs> That's damn good. And it was funny. Yeah, we would we would do that one, but That's we never damn we good. never even. I don't think our school ever even like played BC High because it was a private school. Probably because they. Had a negative complaint about the cheers in the student section. Yeah, probably. It was also just like a bunch of kids from our town would go to BC High. Was it a private school? Yeah. In Boston, I believe. So they were probably hitting you guys with the, that's all right. That's yeah, 100%. Okay. 100%. You're going to work for us someday. <laughs> that is a, that's a good one. That is ter- That's so loserish. Yeah. Wait, do you want to check that since this shit just went off or do you think we're good to go? Oh, uh, let me see. We're just checking it, just doing a little... We have a fail-safe. We have the phone up going with the camera. So if something happens, we're going to have backup, extra footage, just to make sure. We have a high-tech setup. Honestly, I, would tr- I wouldn't I would trade the $20 million office for this. <laughs> I really wouldn't. I'll, I'll take the $20 million. You know what was funny? This is like our dinner with da- Jay-Z. <laughs> You know what was funny in that video? I don't know if you... Did you watch the whole video? Yeah. Did you... Uh, first of all, it was a funny video. It was great. Uh, Big Cat kept... keep When he kept on saying... This is, this where, is where the, the magic, magic happens. happens. Was cracking me up. Um, but... The fuck, dude, they were showing all the new studios, and they're like, they're like, this is macro dosing. We got uh, part of my take in here. Mostly sports. Anus. And when they cut to Anus, it was just a video of them talking at the old office. Because <laughs> <laughs> their studio is definitely not ready. It was just clearly the old office. It was like a, they pulled it from YouTube. I also like how everybody was there except for KB. Oh, yeah. You never see it. KB was probably fucking lost in that place. Or they j- just built a studio for him to do anus for <laughs> one hour a week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The goat. Yeah, I'm going to be out there. I'm going to say what's up to those guys. Give the gift I got to Kate. I got a gift for Kate. Yeah, I Actually, got the yeah, onesie. Where'd right you get there. her? I got her a onesie, bro. Don't play. That was actually that night. You weren't even there, bro. And you also were still awake. So what's all that about? What do you mean? When I sent the picture of the ones that you were still awake. Yeah, because I was dozing and I caught you trying to steal the gift that I got. <laughs> That's crazy to say that. I got you trying to take credit. You were trying to take credit. But we went to... Oof, man. I've been eating good, bro. I got to start taking you out to eat. We went to Osherval. <laughs> we went to Osherval that night for burgers. Great burger. Great and burger. I went Best to Red Hook Tap. This uh, this or Red Hook Tavern. They have hey, it's burgers. Gaz. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say you went to Osherval? <laughs> <laughs> 
We talking burgers? <laughs> uh oh, Gaz is here. Me, Glenny, and Balls t- doing a booze and burgers redux would be incredible. <laughs> you, Glenny, and Balls. Oh, uh, me, Glenny, and Gaz. God damn it! Wait, so you went to Auschwitz, and then where else did you go? <laughs> it's not. G- <laughs> <laughs> I went to Auschwitz. I had the steamed burger. <laughs> They make it in a gas chamber. It's fucking incredible. <laughs> Four years age. Goddamn kraut bastards. <laughs> I started watching. Oh, you did? Yeah. How far in are you? Uh, Like four episodes. So you did Blythe? Oh, uh, the coward? Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Did Honestly, you know- I was pissed because I that we had talked about it, and now I'm like, I know the coward dies. Dude, did you know that he didn't even die in real life? They wrote that in? Someone commented that on the YouTube. What? Dude, That's that never happened. They got it wrong. What? Yeah. So he just was a coward and got cured. That's a yeah. way better story than him being a coward, getting cured, and then getting killed. Dude. I They're trying to even, spook us. I can't even imagine. I was trying to, I was thinking about this the other day, but it's like, imagine being like his family, like his, like I, I, at a certain point, it's like, dude, just don't even put him in the show. Yeah, you don't have to tell that the story. That story was useless for the show. I mean, it was a good, it was a great episode. They're all great episodes, but it was like, you really didn't need it. And then they're like, and then he died. And then, in, and then the family's like, wait, no, he didn't die in the war. Imagine being like his family, like his grandkids sitting down watching that. And they're or like, like, he's not dead at all. They're like, he, he, we were with him two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> we were just playing badminton. <laughs> he's actually pretty spry right now. That means that all the veterans gathered around and they were like, fuck. Yeah, so there was this Blythe guy. He was a coward. He was a pussy. Yeah, he was a massive pussy. And then he got shot and he died. It was a shame. And then he's at home watching and he's like, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? These were my me? brothers. Yeah, are you fucking kidding me? These guys were my, we were a band of brothers. <laughs> I send you guys Christmas cards every year. We were in a band. <laughs> this is heartbreaking. I know. He died in like the 70s or what like the late 60s. What a shitty way to find out that all your boys hate you. I know. Wait, I thought we were boys. Just Wait, make- you guys had a group chat without me? <laughs> <laughs> that's so shitty to be the person oh. on the outside of the group chat. I know. That's so shitty to be the guy that's being called a coward in the HBO series. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then they just fuck up your entire life story. When they make the HBO series about Barstool, I'm definitely telling them you were a coward. Oh, big time. That's fine by me. I'm telling them that, that Tommy Smoke's got no pussy. Yeah. I'm telling them that Alex Cooper had no bread. Bro, don't even kid. I'm telling him how unguapped Alex Cooper was. Alex Cooper should buy the Chicago office. I heard Alex Cooper's going to get re-signed by the New York office. Really? Yeah. That would be huge. I heard that she wants to come back, relive the glory <laughs> days. Dude, why haven't her and Sophia with an F like done like a fucking sit down together? That would like... Are they dumb? Like that Dude, would they be, should make a sex tape, bro. P, they should. P and yeah. V, bro. Oh, yeah. That Dude, would be Alex and Sophia doing P and V with each other. That would be crazy. They need to stop talking about it and show us fucking... Yeah. That would be big. They need V and V. They need v to put, v. put yeah, one scissoring. V in the other. Yeah. Inside of it. Like, that's how they get... That's how they reconnect, is just a <laughs> scissor tape. Yeah, that's honestly what we need. Yeah. They're going to go broke, and they'll have to do that, bro. Totally. Totally. She's only got $60 million. That'll never last. <laughs> that's just the Spotify money. What? She was just on Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. It's not surprising. <laughs> she gonna be rich forever. Yeah. And we gonna be rich forever. I saw those bros today. I know. You told me. I saw Gillian Wallow. They were asking about you. Did you tell? Did they see the video I posted? No, I don't think so. I, uh, To be fully honest, I wrote that tweet out like a week in advance. <laughs> And I was like, I'm going to tweet this on Sunday. This is going to be so funny. Did well, though. Got like 3,000 likes. I mean, that's a layup when you use that's the That's rent, bro. That's rent. <laughs> that's impressions right there. That impression money's hitting. You can eat those. You can eat off those, honestly. It's a good good excuse to buy a new t-shirt. Buy yourself something nice. Oh, yeah. Buy yourself a new vacuum. My Mac Jones jersey should actually be here right now. Collector's item. <laughs> Bro, I need everyone to stop talking shit on Mac Jones. You send that shit over to Second Second Avenue Vintage or whatever. Bro, Second Mac Street Jones Vintage. is the future. I bought it on the NFL Shop website for like 130 bucks. Mark, mark down I, from 230. No, they're all 130. And then I was talking to my sister's boyfriend, and he was like, "I was at Marshalls the other day, and they're like ten dollars there." And he's like, "And they're like the actual jerseys." Yeah. Game like worn. Not, yeah, he's like they're not rip so This is a grass stain. Yeah. <laughs> is this fitted to his body? Dude, Tyreek Hill was grass stained up this week. Yeah, he just like, he's that filthy. He gets that dirty. He's like a stream guy. He's like on streams and shit like that. Big time, yeah. 
Did he like? Uh, does he have some like domestic violence cases against him? Why does it matter? True. <laughs> we'll move on. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's take a second and talk about BetterHelp. Let's talk about BetterHelp. This time of year can be a lot. Too much sometimes. And it's natural to feel some sadness or anxiety about it. Mm-hmm. But adding something new and positive to, to your life can counteract some of these feelings. Therapy can be a bright spot amid all the stress and change. Something to look forward to to make you feel grounded and give you the tools to manage everything that is going on. I've benefited from therapy myself, specifically through BetterHelp, one of the easiest interfaces and one of the simplest ways to get paired with a therapist who will help you today. If you're Mm -hmm. thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. Try that out. Designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Fill out a brief questionnaire. You say what you want to talk about, what's going on with you. You talk to a licensed therapist like that, and you can switch anytime you want for no additional charge. Find your bright spot this season with BetterHelp, visit BetterHelp.com slash sun today and get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash sun. Son. Go do son that. Bo- and Son of a Boy Dad is sponsored by BetterHelp. Yes, it is. What were we talking about? Not Tyreek Hill, that's for sure. <laughs> that was God's thousand. Just got a call from Dave. Apparently, he's getting signed to Barstool for like a $40 million <laughs> contract to stream. a lifetime contract. <laughs> That was your ghost, honestly, turning it off. I know. As soon as we started talking about Tyreek, the camera just shut off. Brother, if I was a believer in ghosts, I had that would a be it. close no, I had a close encounter today oh, at my own apartment. Oh, do tell, do tell. My ears just perked up. I was walking across my apartment and on the other side of my apartment, probably about eighty feet away. The skinny way. Eighty feet away. Yeah. Uh a wine glass just smashed. It just like jumped off of a counter the middle of the day that's happened to me dude i've been there i was walking to go close that's the door. ghost shit if i believed in close encounters of the second kind or whatever yeah no wait no that's aliens isn't it close encounters yeah i think so um yeah i think so so what is it what call when you re- like a ghost paranormal activity yeah when there's paranormal activity going on i i feel if i was a believer in paranormal activity that would be a paranormal activity for sure yeah i mean it's, cr- it's freaky when that shit happens then I'm picking up fucking shards of glass on my hands and knees like a fucking bastard. Then you go over to the glass and it's like spelt out. There's like words <laughs> spelt out in the glass. Get out. Stop Jewish hate. Adam. <laughs> I expel you. I just get blood. Yeah. Out of the <sighs> I still don't believe. <laughs> it could have been anything. When I was a little boy, we were, I was in my, I was at my grandparents' house on the Cape and we were, my mom and my grandma were cleaning up something and, and a glass like from like the corner of the room like flew over and smashed right next to my mom. No one was there. Yeah. I'm going to need ghosts to stop being so passive aggressive. I know. Seriously. Just fucking, yeah. If you got something to say. Or just like smash me in the face with the glass. <laughs> stop having it like, Do you think they have like a rule? Do you think it's like how Batman is not allowed to kill? <laughs> Yeah. They have rule. They can't kill people. <laughs> yeah, because they really do. They, in the movies, they're never really getting killed by ghosts. And sometimes they are. Not really though. They're, you're just getting like they're getting spooked. Cold. Yeah, they're getting like real spooked. Yeah, it's stanky. Maybe my fucking kitchen is haunted. It probably is. Stinks in there. You had a plate of chicken that's definitely haunted, dude. Some plate of the chicken. There's no chicken in there, is there? I don't know. Something in the sink. <laughs> you have a ghost in your sink. People ghost in your garbage disposal. It's fucking growing. I do not have a garbage disposal, brother. Of course. Very rare to have a garbage disposal these days. True. Bad for the environment. Is it? Yeah. Way too many fossil fuels. Is it? No. I don't know. You yeah, recycle? It's electricity? No. Dude, I don't even throw trash away. <laughs> I just like know, shove I it under my bed. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't throw shit out the window. That's definitely what yeah, I'm doing. The window is sealed I'd... up. I can't figure your neighborhood out, though. Because, like, I saw, last time I was leaving here, I saw, like, a family leaving here. I was like, if a family lives in an apartment like this, this is, like, no, this kid, this is not fit for a family. Yeah, that's always the thing that I'm curious about, is when you're in this, like, in a, you're in an apartment, you're like, I wonder what the other units look like. But there was also a, uh, a Corvette on the corner mm-hmm. with a handicap sign and, like, a bunch of tickets on top of it. Yeah. Nobody with a fucking handicap is driving a Corvette like that. Uh, it could be someone like maybe like they have a driver. 
in a Corvette. Yeah, true. No one really has a Corvette. You're like a handicapped person buying a car where you have to get like so low to the ground <laughs> that your ass is like scraping the ground. Maybe they're on a wheelchair. It's probably pretty easy for them to get in. They just no, fall that's off even of harder. They just fall into the car. It's probably easy as hell. Just yeah, into the car. Someone just takes the wheelchair and just <laughs> no, dude. I saw a Reddit post about a dude, uh, someone who's like, I'm a quadriplegic. Are there any good uh, boats to Ireland? So a quadriplegics, they're like, air travel's hard for me. I want to take a boat to Ireland. And they're like, the Queen Mary the Second would be your best option. <laughs> There's like boats that go, like <laughs> Titanic-style boats that are still going from the United States to Ireland. Yeah, I mean, how long does that take? It's got to take, what, like a week to get there? Uh, I At least... Dude, boats, being on a boat for a long time sucks so much. Especially if you're not in, like, the Caribbean. Oh, fucking hell. All right, should we just end this? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. We're still recording on the phone, so we can just... Next, uh, tune in later on for, to hear us talk more about boats. Yes, that we'll, get on, we'll get to that on Wednesday, but you won't be here on Wednesday. It'll be me and Francis. But you just, have, have, just weigh in on boats. All right, we'll talk about boats on Wednesday. All right, thank you, guys. Uh, oh, and if you're still listening, I'm going to be... In St. Louis next week. Also, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. That's the thing that helps us grow the most. Please like and subscribe. I'll also be, I have a show in New York City on Wednesday at the stand. But also please just like the video. Please like and subscribe and come see me on the road. Comment, maybe like engage, <laughs> yeah. engage with other people's just comments. Just don't be afraid to come out and see me on the road. Because <laughs> I am struggling financially right now. Probably going to have to start selling some shit. The Zoom, I'll say the pod track 4 is the first thing to go. <laughs> no, please God. a small fortune. No, 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 don't do that. <laughs> Could flip that thing for like a grand. No, I have 50% <laughs> equity in that, bro. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. Goodbye.